Feck, wow. what did you think of Face Off? It's great. I mean, it's one of the most, like, you know... I mean, I think there's a lot of movies where you're supposed to suspend disbelief, but it's one of those movies where it's like, it doesn't work if you don't suspend every shred of disbelief that you could possibly have. Not a single moment of it makes any coherent sense, but that's what makes it right. work. And of course, yeah. I mean, it's just fun to see Nick Cage and John Travolta pretend to be each other for a full movie. Man, it's oh just god, crazy. that is you you cannot understate how fun that is. Yeah, that's the beauty it really, of it all. Really that's all like it probably wasn't written with them two in mind, but to me it feels like this movie could have been just like based on that idea of like what if Nick Cage and John Travolta switch bodies and that's the movie. Uh, again, going back to IMDb trivia, there were a ton of names that were at one point or another considered for this movie. Right. Arnold and Stallone at one point. Oh god. Michael Douglas, I think he ended up... Hmm. Michael Douglas was very close to being in this movie. I don't remember who he was going to act opposite, but I think he ended up getting a producer's credit because he, I think, had to regrettably drop out Wow! because of a, con- a, a timing conflict. I don't know if the game came out around the same time or something, but he really wanted to be in it, so I think they ended up... He ended up serving as a producer, is what I read. Hmm. Alec Baldwin, at one point, oh God. which... Alec Baldwin shooting people with guns? I don't think I can believe it. I just, yeah, it you know, doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound no. And and Harrison Ford. I think Harrison Ford maybe was going to be opposite Douglas, which would have been interesting. I, I yeah, it's just like at the end of the day, there's no pairing that could have been better than what they went with. Denzel and Snipes. I think that would have worked. That would have been that cool. Probably would have been of the pairings that I saw. I think that is my yeah. n- number two behind what we have. That, yeah, that's not. That, I, I would watch that. But I think Snipes could have nailed the tone. Yeah, I, um, I think they both could have. I think that that could have definitely worked. Oh yeah, Den- Denzel can overact. I mean, training he won an Oscar right. overacting. Training Day is is very much like a a Nick Cage type performance, right. you know. But uh, I know for a fact if we get another face off, it's gonna be the the same two yet again. Oh, it's just oh, unless God. unless they're bringing just Nick Cage back and, and introducing oh, someone else. I don't know how that would work, but. <laughs> This movie's very removed from reality. I, I understand if you take a relatively straightforward action film and you bring someone back from the dead, it's going to work better in a sequel to this than a sequel to Die Hard or other, you know, action movies. Yeah. I get it, because there is that suspend your disbelief. But I just don't want to see that. Yeah, I really don't. I don't either, but I'm just saying it's it's happening. Can you imagine John Travolta headlining a movie nowadays? Jesus. I mean, that would do it, though. That would do it, though. If it was a sequel to a a built-in audience, like, you know, with with Face Off. I I don't want to see a sequel, quite frankly. I don't either, but I'm going to see it if it it comes out. You know what I think? I mean, we're mentioning the actors, of course, here. Right. Someone who is hugely a part of how great this movie is, is John Woo. Yeah, and that's... Can't can't overstate early John Woo how different it was from other right action filmmakers american action filmmakers it was unique and now post matrix post john wick post wanted if anyone even remembers that movie (laughs) right you can't hit us with something that truly feels unique in that way i don't think yeah as far as i know this is john woo's best american film this is an excellent film i'm not saying it's better than the killer not saying it's better than Hard Boiled, but this is an action classic. It's this great. is awesome. Beginning to end, it's just incredibly entertaining. The acting is just fun. It's not like great acting. Like they don't watch scenes from Face Off at Juilliard, yeah. I don't think. But it, it works, and it, both actors have such strong personalities and all these quirks. And then when you see the other actor playing the other one, th- th- then they're really doubling down on the quirks and stuff, and it's fun. It's it's hard to explain, as as we were, you know, I was kind of fumbling with the names and long pauses when I was thinking of the names. But it's easy to understand when you're watching it, because yeah. both characters are so distinct. And the action's awesome, and there is enough of a heart to the movie, with John Travolta's character and eventually who eventually is Nicolas Cage's character, the attachment to the son and eventually the attachment to Gina Gershon and her son, I think that works well enough for me 
I probably wouldn't have wanted more of that than there is, because I think then you run the risk of, like, that opening scene being, like, too sappy, too overly yeah. sentimental. Because at the end of the day, this is just a turn off your brain and just have a good time kind of movie. But that can be tiring if there isn't at least some kind of human element. Yeah, I think they they balanced it for sure. Oh, yeah, very well done. Yeah, they balanced it perfectly. Yeah, I I, I agree with every. I think it's I think it's perfect. I mean, I think they did a a great job with with all of it. I was just like, if you if you just go into it, it honestly with no expectations and just wanting to see a movie with Nick Cage and John Travolta, it's it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, they they both bring it. 